I have a survey for you. Yes. And if I'm going to ask six questions, okay. actually seven questions, yeah. And uh, the first one is to ask if you know if you're going to get into heaven. The second one is going to tell you, basically help you find out if you will not make it into heaven. And the last one is how do you get into heaven, all right? Okay. Question one, are you sure you're going to make it to heaven? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay, I'll ask you five questions then, yeah? And you're going to... All I need from you is honesty. Mm -hmm. How old are you, though? 16. 16, so you can handle the question. <laughs> question one is, have you ever told a lie your entire life? Yes. Yeah. Are have you, you ever told a lie? Lie, lie yeah. yeah. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? Yeah. yeah. Have you used God's name in vain? Yeah. Have you ever taken something from, from someone or somewhere irrespective of its value without permission? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the last question is, have you ever looked with lust? Yeah. You know, look with lust. Do you, do you know that? what lust is? No. Do you want to explain to your friend what lust is? What does he mean by that? Lust? Is that, have you ever been horny? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Things like that. Oh. Having those fantasies and things yeah. like that. Now, if God is to judge you by the Ten Commandments, you just looked at five of them. Yeah. You're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Guilty, guilty. as charged. <laughs> Heaven or hell now? Hell. How do you avoid yeah. going to hell? You just believe in God. Believe in God? Yeah. Well, I'm a Muslim, so... Obey your I'm parents. Just, so you no yeah. lying. No lying. God. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you the gospel. This is the gospel. The Ten Commandments are called the moral laws. Every single human being, his Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, even Christians, because I tell this news to every single human being, even Christians, because some people think they are Christian and they are not Christian. We have all broken God's moral laws, but somebody paid the fine for us. So instead of us receiving the punishment from God, God punished his only son, that's Jesus. So if it's like you being in a court of, court of law, you have broken the laws of the land, and somebody says, it's either you go to jail or you pay a 15,000 fine, you know. You have to think, am I going to pay the fine or am I going to go to jail? If you decide to go to jail, you don't pay the fine, right? But if somebody comes and pay your fine, you can be let free, you know, you can go free. Now, that's what Jesus did for you. If you are to trust in him, believe that he has died for your sins, he was buried and he rose again from the dead, you'll be granted eternal life. It's a free gift. You don't have to get to gain anything for you to get it. Just believe in Jesus. Believe in Him that He died for your sins. That's the good news. So when are you going to believe in Jesus and trust in Him? It's upon you. But death could seize you anytime. You could die in your age, 16, 17. You could, I could die at my age. I, I'm not guaranteed the next breath. My, my next breath is not guaranteed. So if I die, what gets me into heaven is my faith in Jesus. Nothing else. Because I believed in Him. Repentance means change of mind, which leads to change of heart and change of action. So if you used to love doing something that is against what God teaches, because you repent, you're going to turn away from those kind of things. So it changes your actions. So it's not all about what we do in this earth, especially with our actions. It's about what Jesus did for us on that cross. And because we trust in Jesus, 